Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to City Conservation Center. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here yet again for another Planet Zoo speed build. Could you believe this? We're building for the Malayan Tapir, one of my favorite animals in the world. Really beautiful animal. I really do love the coloration on these guys. It really is super interesting just to see the coloration on Malayan tapirs because I learned this through um, the ZSU event recently. Uh, they're colored that way so that when they're kind of like in the forest and like that dense jungle area, they do live in like kind of all over Southeast Asia. So they get a lot of tigers over there. It's actually a very much a defense mechanism because the white on them. Uh, the, like the white on their rumps and stuff like that helps them blend in as rocks and that counter shading really helps them work out kind of like that it's super interesting it allows like predators to kind of pass right by them because these guys do sleep a lot they're pretty tired animals uh but it's just super interesting just to see like this really extravagant extravagant color kind of coloration uh, obviously, uh, make its way into a jungle like that. Normally you associate jungle animals with like these beautiful greens, blues, all these kinds of different wild colors. But black and white is something that you don't really see too much in like jungle animals. So I always find that super cool. Uh, which by the way, I do want to ask you guys right off the bat, what do you guys think of like this background? I kind of have this going on right now throughout like all these videos. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. I've gotten some people liking it, some people not. Uh, I gotta work it out a lot more later down the line. But I'm kind of testing this out before we do get into like the new DLC and stuff like that. I thought this was like a, just a super cute little motif that we could probably do. Because my aspect ratio on my computer really doesn't match like YouTube's recording quality standards, I guess, if that makes sense. I really do gotta get a new monitor. Um, that's, it's, it's a little pricey though, so we'll probably wait down the line for that. But, no, I really want to know what you guys think about this format, just because, I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of really like it. Uh, but I'm not sure if, like, the bottom and the top should be kind of, like, stretched out a little bit, so it's just the sides. I'm not really sure. But, all that being said, we should probably talk about the habitat. I don't want to get too into, like, tech stuff with all you guys. I know you don't really care about all that stuff. So today we are building for the Malayan Tape here, and this is going in our rivers section. Uh, Waters of the World, I think we actually coined it. So this whole area is really based off of animals that really have to spend a lot of their lives around water and kind of centralize their behaviors around water. So in case if you guys are unaware, tapirs are actually really good swimmers. Uh, this guy pretty much lives in his water in this habitat all day. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but he just does that all the time. Uh, I'm also adding these fakey little pieces of asphalt right there to really help centralize that little viewing gallery right there, which, by the way, I really did mess up on that viewing gallery, but we'll get there when we actually do get there. Uh, but we're also copying some of the other motifs from around this habitat. Uh, I made these beautiful, beautiful little fences over here. They're a little bit of a lag machine because they are climbable pieces, but I kind of play with it later down the line. And I'm not sure if this actually stays. I did experience a crash at some point with this build, so I'm not sure what stays and what didn't, but we'll probably see in like the final recording or whatever, in like the final cinematics. But I don't know, I just really did like this habitat. Uh, this whole river section, it's very simple, it's very straight and to the point, but it's just something I really do like. And this little centralized, like, tree spot right over there is based off of something that Caesar Creates made, which, by the way, go check his channel out if you guys haven't already. Really awesome, really supportive creator. He's just incredible. Really do love that. Plus, he's Polish! All the good Planet Zoo creators are Polish, me included. Uh, so making our way throughout here, I also wanted to add some more faux rocks to our banks and stuff like that. These mud banks are made by, oh uh, gosh, I forget her name. Uh, she's, I forget her name. I'm so sorry. I'll try and find that out for the next episode. But we've been using these throughout the entire, entire like river section. It really does, and like you can see it right there, it really does help stand out as a build together. Uh, and I just really do like it. And it wouldn't be a water section without throwing in a whole bunch of cattails. Uh, I really do love using these guys just to help make an area feel a little bit more green. Uh, I don't really use the reeds all too much. I feel like they're too aggressive of colors. 
Uh, they don't really fit my palette all too well. I know a whole lot of different builders that love to use them. I know they're very much like a savanna plant. Uh, simply savannah that is uh, but I don't really like to use them for my own kind of style and that's totally fine I always do love to see like different creators try out their own little motifs and stuff like that It really is super awesome. So making our way throughout here We are adding all these small little details again to our holding building and by the way the Twilight DLC was announced This is our first city conservation episode since we got that uh, I don't think any of those animals are endangered uh, so they're probably not going in City Conservation Center, which by the way, we already did plan it out. You can check that out on my Twitter right now, just see what we have planned for City Conservation Center. Um, it's nothing too crazy. I really did cut down on the species list because I do want to finish this up and wrap it up as soon as possible. I am hoping to have a new series for the Twilight DLC, and this is something very reminiscent of Sugar Pine Zoo, which many of you guys really came on board with. Uh, it was both Sugar Pine and Boggy Bottom that really a lot of the whole leaf pile really joined in for, and I can't wait to show you guys it once we're actually doing stuff for it um i'm planning it all out beforehand i'm super excited about it which by the way that ombu tree incredible for really covering up that nice shaded area i really am super happy with that uh i really want this area to feel nice and kind of covered uh because malayan tapirs they don't like to be in the sun all too much from my experience i've been down to like naples not naples but uh tampa and miami zoo uh, both of the tapirs were just laying down in the shade, so I really wanted to make sure that we kind of copy that motif throughout here. Also adding those small little vents to the bottom of that pool, just making sure that keepers could drain that pool whenever they need to. And also here is where I messed up. Uh, this is the viewing gallery, and I didn't realize this, but I built this on an angle. And it didn't turn out too good, but honestly, we faked it till we made it, and it actually worked out a lot better in the end. I was super happy with how it kind of turned out, but it's just a lot off. It's super awful to work building on an angle, and I never suggest you guys do that if you guys are trying to get, like, accustomed to building and, like, working with these more intricate shapes. Always make sure that you, like, whenever you're starting to build stuff like this, you do it on flat ground. Uh, that way it's a lot easier to snap to angles, that way it's a lot easier to make sure that you have like precise angles too. That's always super important to have, but that's really my own suggestion. Uh, big shout out to the Conservation DLC for giving us non climbable pieces, because this structure would not have been possible without them. Uh, these conservation slats are easily some of my new favorite pieces just because they have this nice kind of glossy texture, and it just looks super awesome to begin with. So we kind of work our way throughout here. I did want to cover up this area just a little bit more so we make that kind of like cross beam a little bit higher up later down the line. Uh, so I'm just super excited about that. It's just super nice. I really like this exhibit, guys. Uh, I also try and cover up that right there. Just really helping to, I don't know, kind of centralize these ideas. I don't really know. I'm just super excited about this build, guys. Can you tell? Um... But yeah, I'm just very happy with this. City Conservation Center, it's being passed around by a few of my friends right now. Um, Nicholas Lion Rider is going to be making his debut once again with a lovely little lion habitat, could you guess? And he's also working on cheetahs as well, which is going to be super awesome. I can't wait to, um, can't wait to show you guys what he's been working on. I think he's recording a speed build for it too, so that's going to be super interesting. Uh, really beautiful habitat. He's shown me some pictures so far. Also, getting our guest facilities here as well, making sure that we have enough seats for our guests just to sit down and stuff like that. But that is really it, my friends. That is it for our speed build, and we move on to the cinematics. I'm finally letting guests in city conservation too. Uh, it's killing my computer. It's absolutely killing my computer. This zoo is getting way too big. But I'm super happy with how well this came out. It feels like such a nice, wholesome habitat. Uh, and you know what? I'm just happy you guys are here along for the ride. So I do want to thank you guys one last time. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of City Conservation Center. You guys are always the best. If this is your first episode of City Conservation Center, go back to the start, please. Just go watch that entrance speed build. That's all I really care about. It was such an awesome project to make. 
But that's about it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are always the best. Enjoy this final establishing shot right here. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.